Thank you for joining McCormick Systems in on-screen estimating pro training. Getting started. The first thing we're going to do is start a new job and we're going to add those drawings. So I click on new job. We're just going to type in on-screen estimating pro training and then we'll go ahead and add the drawing. As soon as I'm done typing in the job information, I'll go ahead and click on OSC Pro Drawings and we'll hit the Add Drawings button. This will allow me to grab the drawings from my file management system and add them to the McCormick job. I can click on one of the thumbnails and preview the drawing. Simply hit Close Preview to go back to your thumbnails. When I'm ready to select the drawings that I want to add to the job, I can simply click on the box below the drawing, or I can go up to Edit and select All Drawings. Go ahead and hit Import Selected, and we have now finished the Add Drawing process. Okay, we will paste from Job like normal. Then we will add our labels. For this job, I'll just add Base Bid, and we'll do power, lighting, and we'll go with fire alarm. Close out those labels and we are ready to do takeoff. Let's go ahead and click on the on-screen estimating pro button at the top of your screen. This will launch on-screen estimating pro and we are ready to get started. If you have dual monitors, I suggest moving on-screen estimating pro to the second monitor. This will give you more room to work with. If you have a single monitor or you are working off of a laptop, McCormick can work with that too. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you the setup. Let's go ahead and minus on-screen estimating pro down so we can set up the takeoff screen to easily fit on-screen estimating pro. So you're normally going to want to move your audit trail up here to the top. Also shrink your menu. Menu is going to uh, be able to find the material, but when we do, we want to make sure that we close when found. So go ahead and hit close when found, move your menu up to the top, and then we can lock this into position. You can see we've now cleared a space for on-screen estimating Pro to fit in. Now that we have the windows the way you like them, you can lock that to a button up top. Simply right click on the last button here, and let's name it OSE Pro. That will allow us to now take a snapshot and lock those windows in place. We are now ready to begin on-screen estimating. Let's click on the sheet first. We want to pick what we're going to be working on. I'm going to pick power. The first question it's going to ask us is if we want to rotate the drawing. This one looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel the rotation. Next is the scale. McCormick will not let you do takeoff unless we have a scale chosen. So you can go ahead and pick one of the predetermined scales or we can set scale from known points. Simply click on the set scale from known points, position the green points where you want them to be, such as this doorway. I know this is three feet. I type in 3.0 feet. Hit enter and you can see your new scale. Now we can begin doing takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and pick devices, standard receptacles, and I'll choose this duplex 20 amp receptacle. You will notice the active part on the bottom of on-screen estimating pro. This is what you'll be doing takeoff with. Simply begin clicking on the receptacles to begin basic counting. McCormick is doing the counting for you. All you have to do is point and click. After you're done counting, you can click enter on your keyboard or simply click off of the receptacle. This will enter your takeoff into the audit trail. You will also notice your recent activity in the lower right hand corner. This shows what has been saved to McCormick. Let's go ahead and do some more takeoff. I'm going to grab some boxes here. We'll take this outlet box. Uh, simply click on the assembly and start doing takeoff again. Again, you could hit the enter button on your keyboard to input this takeoff, or you can simply click off of the assembly in the database. Either way, we'll enter your takeoff. Let's go ahead now and take off some lengths. I'm going to grab branch EMT steel set screw, and we'll grab uh, three number 12s here. I'm going to go ahead and start with single line takeoff. 
Simply click once to start the line, click again to end it. I'll start another little one here to finish this run. Another way to take off length is using the connected line method. Click once to start the line, click again to turn, and double click when you are done with the line. This will enter in the takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and draw another one here that we could play with. I'll add some drops to this in just one moment. If you want to add a drop, right click on the line and you could add drop here. You could add a drop to the start, the end, or the start and the end. I'm just going to add a drop here. It will now drop in my pre-set up 8 foot drop. Let's show you where these pre-set up drops are set. We're going to go into the permanent database and review the item. This is where all the parts and pieces are. If I hit OSE Pro Specific on the right, this shows the specifications for on-screen estimating pro. This is where you can change line size, line color, and you will notice there in the middle are predetermined drops. So every time I right click on this line in on-screen estimating pro, it will put in eight feet. So you can set that up. That again is just a standard. We can change that here in a moment. Let's take a look at more specs. Let's go back to that duplex we took off and show you the specifications for that. Again, this is your permanent database and I have my duplex set up to be a blue circle. Uh, all the specifications are there. Let's go ahead and look at the box that we took off also. There you go, that is a blue square. Again, that's your permanent database. If you change it there, you'll have a change for the system. We'll show you how to change it for the job later. Let's go back to our 8 foot drop. Again, we can override our system specific setting by simply clicking on the override button, typing in what we want, and then right clicking on the line and adding the drop. Now you can see we have our 15 foot drop. Besides using the takeoff button, the other important button you'll be utilizing a lot would be the select button. This allows you to select individual items or a group of items. You can simply box over a group and I can do many things with that. I can move that group. I could delete that group. Uh, it is your basic selection process. You can also select one piece by clicking on it and moving that. You can easily toggle between takeoff and select by using your spacebar. Okay, let's go ahead and click on a box here. We're going to right click on this box here and go into the properties. This is going to allow us to change the specifications for just this sheet or if you notice down below, you could also apply your changes to the main database. Let's go ahead and make this box pink and put a J in the text overlay. Notice how all of your boxes have changed color. Again, this is just for the sheet since I did not pick apply to main database. McCormick also makes it very easy to swap out parts. If we made a mistake or we didn't want that J box and I wanted to switch that to a larger box, I can simply right click on that J box and replace all matching parts. This will easily replace all the parts with the active part selected. Another important tool in the on-screen estimating pro is the filter. This is where we can turn our takeoff on and off for viewing purposes only. So if I wanted to turn off my devices and branch, it's simple. Click on my layers and turn them off. If I wanted to simply show my branch, I could utilize the print button and print just the branch. So there's many uses for that. We also can select the individual pieces of takeoff. This is great if I wanted to select, say, all of my duplexes. With this ability to select all of my duplexes, we also have another process that we could do. I can actually add takeoff near all of my duplexes. So I've selected a telephone. I've now used my filter to select the duplex. I right click on the duplex and I add part near selection. We've just added telephones near all of our duplexes. And again, since the telephones are already selected, I can click on them and move them anywhere that I want. So that is called a group move when everything is selected. Okay, let's continue on. Let's work on lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my label to lighting. That's gonna change my auto trail, and I'm also gonna change my page to lighting. 
Again, it'll bring up our rotation. Everything looks good. I don't need to rotate. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 8 scale on this and we're going to continue on with auto count. We're going to go ahead and count some fixtures. Let's grab this 2x4 Trawford 3 lamp. Now that we have chosen the fixture and it is our active part, we can begin the auto count process. Click on the auto count on top of the screen. The first part of auto count is choosing where the search is going to take place. It's defined search location. So I'm going to draw a rectangle over the drawing that I wanted to search in. Next, we're going to want to define the criteria. This is what we're going to be searching for. So it is a fixture. I'm going to draw a box over the fixture here in the middle of the screen. That's going to put the drawing up into our search criteria. Next, pick a match rate. This is something you're going to become comfortable with as time goes on. I suggest starting at about 65 to 70 percent. That's it. Hit search and the program will go through and try to find all those fixtures for you. It opens its findings in the search results box. If you right click on one of the search results, you have an option you can check selected, you can select all Selecting takeoff will allow you to see what it has found on the actual drawing. It places a red box around each of the fixtures that it found. For this auto count, I'm going to check all, and then I'm going to remove the check on anything that I don't like. Accept takeoff, and we are done. It's a pretty quick process, and the computer does a lot of the work for you. Of course, any of the fixtures that it missed, you can go back and simply click on those and do standard takeoff. Enter in your takeoff and there it is. We've let the computer help us count. Next, I'm gonna show you overlay. Let's go ahead and filter off all of the takeoffs so we have a clean drawing to look at. Click on Compare Drawings at the top of your screen. Drop the overlay box down and pick your revised drawing. This will drop it on top of your original. Now we want to change our original to a different color, red. Now if you see here, we can actually move, zoom in, and clear as day. You can see the changes between the two drawings. When you're done, remember to remove the color and change your overlay back to none. Okay, let's go back to the filter and turn our takeoff back on. If I click on File Preferences, you will notice you have the ability to change any of the functions in McCormick. So if you want to zoom a different way or scroll a different way, change it in your mouse or your keyboard shortcuts. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions at all or need any help, give us a call at 1-800-444-4890.